beautiful jewelry from the most luxurious brands at a fraction of the retail price. Luxury Bazaar has the best selection. Thank you to Luxury Bazaar for sponsoring today's video. Their website will be linked down below. Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. You're feeling loved. Whether you're planning a special date night, you're heading out with friends, even if you're just staying home alone, relaxing, because let's face it, sometimes that's the best, you might still wanna smell nice. So I have a great list of fragrances here. Today's Fragrance Friday is dedicated, of course, to Valentine's Day. So I will be sharing five of the best Valentine's Day fragrances for women, as well as five of my favorite fragrances for men. And today, Today's video is especially exciting because I'm collaborating with Sheree Lewis. If you are not already familiar with her channel, she is one of my favorite fragrance ladies here on YouTube, but she has the best taste, the best style. She is just the walking, talking definition of elegance and class. She has a nose for luxury and I always look forward to her recommendations and her story times. They crack me up. Her videos are so bingeable. I could just watch her all day long and listen to her talk about fragrance. So Sheree is also sharing some great Valentine's Day fragrances for men and women over on her channel. I will link her video, her channel, everything you need down below in the description box. Be sure to head over there right after this, check her out, send her some love, let her know that I sent you. Now let's go ahead and get started, shall we? Ladies first, so I'm going to begin with a new love. This is Rose Prick from Tom Ford. This is their latest launch that showed up right on time in the pink bottle, so it lends itself very nicely to Valentine's Day, but it's also just the perfect date night fragrance. It's floral, but it's still very spicy and sensual. Rose Prick is a warm floral described as a wild bouquet of beautiful rose breeds, Rose de Mai, Turkish, and Bulgarian. It has keynotes of Bulgarian rose, Indonesian patchouli, and Tulu balsam. <sighs> mm, I love Rose Prick, it's so beautiful. Of course you get a lot of rose right off the top, but it, it smells so sensual and moody. I definitely get incense, wild roses. It's intended to transport you to Mr. Ford's private rose garden, and I think it does just that. It's so elegant and feminine, so sexy. Another one of my favorite fragrances for Valentine's Day is another rose fragrance. Rose is, of course, the queen of flowers, so it's just so perfect for Valentine's Day, but this one is very different. It's Chevaux d'Or from House of Siage. This is a much fruity, floral, brighter, slightly sweeter fragrance when compared to Rose Prick. This is sexy seducer man date night. This is more elegant, romantic date night. It is such a feminine fragrance. It is so beautiful. It's a little bit more fresh floral, but it's still not artificial. Oh, it's so nice. Every time I smell this fragrance, I'm just blown away by how beautiful it is. And it makes me question why I would ever want to wear anything other than rose. It's just so good. It's House of Siage, so they are a luxury niche fragrance house. It's sort of rare. You know, you're not going to wear this fragrance and smell it on other people in the room. It's kind of unique in that way. And of course it comes in the special cupcake with the Swarovski crystals. It's a very special fragrance. Ladies and gentlemen, we just had a last minute change to the roster. I nixed one fragrance and brought in this next one because I saw it sitting on my vanity and it just sort of clicked in my head and I thought, this has to be on the list. It is so perfect for the occasion. And that is Gentle Fluidity Gold from Maison Francis Kurgian. My bottle is signed by Francis Kurgian himself. I had the opportunity to meet him, it was one of the best experiences I've had in the cosmetics world. It was just such a beautiful day. But we did a masterclass on this fragrance and I came to appreciate it and love it even more. But this is the type of fragrance that you smell it and you instantly can connect with it because it's just so smooth and beautiful. Oh, it is so nice. I will go weeks at a time where this is the only fragrance I want to wear and then something happens and I'll just sort of force myself 
to try something else and go in a different direction, but I always sort of come back to this fragrance. I go ahead and spray it. Oh, it is so nice. It's so smooth and feminine. The Gentle Fluidity Silver is a little bit more crisp. You get a lot of juniper off the top. That one leans a little bit more masculine. Both fragrances contain the same notes, but in different concentrations. They're almost an inverted pyramid, which I think is so genius and such a creative way to demonstrate how two fragrances can be very similar, but so different. The fragrance contains juniper berries, nutmeg, coriander, musks, ambery woods, and vanilla. And in Gentle Fluidity Gold, the coriander seed, musks, and vanilla are all heightened. Next on my list is Coco Mademoiselle from Chanel. This might be the elegant date night fragrance. It is just one of the most beautiful fragrances of all time. And I think because it is so popular and it has achieved such a status. I rarely talk about it on my fragrance lists. I just sort of assume that people are sick and tired of hearing about it and they just kind of know how great it is. Kind of like Angel. I love Angel, but I never talk about it and it's not a fragrance that I would probably ever wear simply because here in Miami in particular, I don't know if this is the case everywhere, but everyone, Everyone and their mother, their grandmother, their sister, their daughter, everybody wears Angel. It almost dilutes how special the fragrance really is and I almost feel that way about Mademoiselle because this is sort of the go-to, especially when it comes to Chanel fragrance. But when I think of traditional romantic date night fragrances, nothing is more appropriate than Mademoiselle and it truly is beautiful. I think for a special occasion and even just in general, you kind of have to throw away what's popular, what other people love, and go with the fragrances that make you feel special. Coco Mademoiselle is one of these feminine oriental fragrances that just makes you feel beautiful. I've never met anyone who didn't like Coco Mademoiselle. You either love it or you still like it, <laughs> but nobody dislikes it. And I think the rose gold, the sort of pink juice, it is so perfect for Valentine's Day. Last on the list, and another one of those fragrances that seems to have no haters is Delina from Parfum de Marly. The most gorgeous, sensual, spicy, floral, feminine fragrance for women. It is one of the best fragrances. It is so interesting and exotic that when you smell it, you just wanna keep smelling it and smelling it. I have not heard a single person say that they did not like this fragrance. It is a home run every single time. I think this is a very special fragrance, so it's great for brides. It has top notes of bergamot, nutmeg, rhubarb, and lychee, a middle of Turkish rose, vetiver, incense, and cedarwood, and a base of vanilla, cashmere, and musk. Because it has the rose in the middle, you know, that heart accord, and it also has incense, when I first smelled the Tom Ford Rose Prick, the first fragrance that I sort of thought to compare it to was Delina. And the two are not similar. I think Delina is a little bit sweeter, a little bit brighter, but there are similarities between the two. If you love rose and incense, you'll love them both. But the Lishi, and probably the rhubarb as well, give Delina a little something special. It's sort of exotic and it's not a note that you find in a lot of different fragrances. So it kind of leaves you wondering like, what is that? What is it about this fragrance? It kind of lures you in and hooks you and then people just have to have it. <laughs> At that point, you just decide that it is going to be in your collection because you've smelled nothing else like it and it is so beautiful and wonderful. Moving on now to men's fragrances. I just ran to my husband's bathroom to pull this first one. Along with smelling great, having separate bathrooms is the key to a successful relationship. <laughs> Am I right, ladies? So this first one is Effing Fabulous from Tom Ford. I actually gifted this to my husband for Christmas and he was so surprised and just loves this fragrance. He had been talking about it and talking about it for such a long time and he did not expect it whatsoever. So I was really happy to be able to give this to him, but also it just smells 
so nice on him. And this is unisex, it's private blend, so it can be worn by men and women, and I know that there are plenty of women who love wearing this fragrance, and I think it smells really nice on a woman. But there's something about when a man wears this fragrance. I think the leather and the suede, those notes are just really nice and masculine. I think it's sort of elegance on him. I think this is just such a beautiful special occasion fragrance. It's a great date night fragrance and perfect for Valentine's Day. Next on the list is Blue de Chanel, which I know may seem so cheesy and cliche because it's been around forever and everybody talks about it, but I think Blue de Chanel is for men what Coco Mademoiselle is for women, especially in terms of Chanel fragrance, but it's just really good and I don't think I've ever met anybody who didn't like blue, men or women. Everybody really likes it. It is the quintessential Chanel man. When I smell Chanel blue, I just think of a tailored suit, clean shoes, you know, great style, a good smelling man. I just cannot get enough of that fragrance. I don't think I will ever get sick of that fragrance. It is tried and true. It is classic, but so sexy, and it just exudes confidence. The keynotes include cedar and sandalwood, but it is still considered to be a light and fresh fragrance for men, surprisingly. I think if you are used to wearing blue, maybe you wear the Eau de Toilette or the Eau de Parfum, you could switch for date night to the Parfum Interpretation, which is the new addition to the family. There are always little extensions. The family is always growing with blue because it is so popular, but it truly is just a great fragrance. If you are sick of blue or you're looking for a Chanel fragrance for men that is different, Platinum Egoiste is next on the list. It is so good. This is a dark horse favorite. I don't feel like I hear people talk a lot about it. I don't think it's maybe as trendy right now. It's not as modern and cool, but whenever I smell this fragrance on a man, it is one of those stop you in your tracks like, what are you wearing <laughs> type of experiences. I can still vividly remember my first encounter with Platinum Ego East. It was on a coworker. He was wearing it and he came over and leaned nearby and I was so struck by it. And he kind of laughed because my reaction was so, wow, oh my gosh, you smell amazing, what is that? But at the time, I was working at a Chanel counter with all of the fragrances right there. People don't really spray it that often. I don't know, I feel like everybody goes to Blue or Allure and they don't really talk about Platinum Eco East, but they should because it is surprisingly amazing. Such a sexy date night fragrance on a man. Ladies, if you are looking for something different to gift the man in your life, I highly recommend trying it. You may love it as much as I do. And men, if you are looking for that type of fragrance that is going to kind of turn heads and attract a lot of attention, compliments, start a conversation even, Platinum Ego East is that fragrance. And it's not as common as Aventus, which is the ne next fragrance on the list. And I have to add it. I hate that I have to add it, but I do because it is just so good. But it is incredibly recognizable. That's the one thing I will say. It smells amazing. It's intoxicating. A great date night fragrance for men. But I feel like it's kind of... The, the secret's out. Everybody wears it. You can smell it on everyone. You can smell it a mile away. If everybody under the sun started wearing it, it would still smell amazing. The final fragrance for men is a bit of a trick because it's unisex and it also happens to be one of my favorite fragrances for women. And that is Maison Francis Kurjian Baccarat Rouge 540. This is just a star in the world of fragrances. And I have to laugh to this day because on my review that I posted, I forgot to mention that it is unisex. I talked about it as being one of the best women's fragrances of all time, which I stand by that. I still to this day get comments from men who are so angry that I did not mention that men can wear this fragrance too. So this is for all of you guys out there. I put it in the men's fragrance category. On the one hand, I completely understand wanting to stake your claim to this fragrance because it is just that good. It is so addicting. Whenever you smell it, you don't want to smell anything else. I love wearing this fragrance, but I also love smelling it on other people. I think most of the fragrances that I mentioned today are pretty popular, so they are recognizable, 
but not like Baccarat. Baccarat has its own kind of secret club and when you know about it, you're in the club. Mmm. <sighs> that sweet vanilla sugar note that makes it smell like cotton candy. Who would ever think that you would want to smell like cotton candy? If I heard that that was a note in a fragrance or if somebody described a fragrance as smelling like cotton candy, I would think absolutely not. I don't want to smell like that. It would be too adolescent. But there, this is just so elegant. It's so refined. It is delicious and you just don't want to stop. Like the other men's fragrances I've mentioned, Baccarat just exudes confidence. It's powerful and so sexy. I think this is perfect for date night. And that completes my list of favorite fragrances for Valentine's Day. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you feel inspired. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments, your questions down below. I'm very curious to hear what fragrance you are wearing for Valentine's Day. Drop a comment. We'll keep the conversation going there. As always, I will be linking everything mentioned, everything that I have today on my face down below in the description box for your convenience. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell.